For Andrew Mitchell, a 49-second exchange has defined a whole year. Today, as police said they would charge a police officer for what happened a year ago, Mr Mitchell gave his own, at times, emotional reaction. I have told the truth about these incidents. The police did not. My reputation was destroyed. I was vilified relentlessly over 33 days with over 800 hate emails received during the course of that first week. I was spat at in the street. I lost my job after a career spanning more than 25 years in Parliament, serving my constituents, my party and my country. Despite a year-long investigation involving close analysis of this and other CCTV cameras, the Crown Prosecution Service says no conclusions can be reached. Andrew Mitchell has already admitted swearing as police officers correctly asked him to use the side gate. But he'd always denied using the word pleb. The CPS says there's insufficient evidence to suggest the officer was lying or that there was a criminal conspiracy against Mr Mitchell. One officer has been charged with misconduct in a public office. PC Keith Wallace is accused of falsely claiming to have witnessed the incident. Mr Mitchell lost his job as a government chief whip over the affair. Now he's angry that the officer he rowed with has so far kept his. I wish now to make clear that PC Toby Rowland, who was responsible for writing those toxic phrases into his notebook, was not telling the truth. I will seek to say this on oath in a court of law and it is our intention to ensure that PC Toby Rowland has similarly to swear his account. If the police can do this in such a casual way in one of the safest areas in Britain and get away with it, then they can do it to anyone, anywhere and at any time. Mr Mitchell maintains the footage shows he was stitched up and that he couldn't have said the words he's accused of in the time frame. Five police officers could yet lose their jobs as the police watchdog will now carry out its own investigation. Julian Drucker, Five News.